So, here we are, middle of October, and we are coming up to Halloween. Arguably, one of the scariest times of the year. You know, where people get dressed up as witches and ghouls and all things horrible and freaky, and we um, do all these things to scare the life out of each other. Uh, <laughs> and although it's fun, um, it's supposed to be scary, isn't it? Well, that happens once a year, but I know something that's even scarier, and actually, it happens nearly every day of the week to somebody out there, including you and I. And that thing is one of the most common questions, um, things that I hear when coaching and when pushing people to do something that they really um, should do, but don't want to do. And that thing is the question that begins with, what if? And it's things like, um, what if, I mean, what if I get it wrong? Uh, what, I can't go for the interview because what if I don't get the job? What if I don't get the promotion? What if I don't get picked for the squad? What if I'm not ready? What if he or she doesn't want me? Um, and what if I look like an idiot in the process of all of that? That's scary for you and I and um, you know I know you've been there I know you've said those things because everybody does and fear of getting it wrong is scarier than any ghost or ghoul out there I'm telling you um, because it's so scary that it holds us back because when you put yourself in the spotlight and you put yourself arguably at risk you're taking a bet on yourself and that's much, much harder than taking a bet on somebody else or on something else. Because when it goes wrong, um, it kind of falls back on, it falls back in our faces, doesn't it? And just makes us feel 10 times worse. So I'm not going to lie, failing is going to hurt. I don't disagree with that. You know, every time I shoot a video, I think, ah, what if nobody watches? What if I get my words mixed up? What if I say the wrong thing? what if but there are times when you have to overcome those things because actually um, if you don't you'll stay in the same place all of your life and what's worse than uh, not taking that risk is is hindsight looking back over your life and thinking what if I did um, take the risk what if I did ask her or him out what if I did go for that job what could have happened what if I got it right what if I got the job? Wow. But it's too late then. So you have to take those risks now. You have to put yourself in the spotlight now um, when the opportunity is there. And that is one of the most common reasons why successful people, uh, the people that seemingly get all the luck in life, are the ones who put themselves out there. They're the ones that actually do take those risks and, and make that move when other people don't and don't. But you know what? Anybody can do it. Anybody can put themselves out there and take that chance. Why not you then? Why not you be the person who, who does take that risk on yourself and you do get the reward for it? Now, you might not come straight away, but ultimately um, you will get that reward for it. I think, I think that risk is worth taking. So here's what I'm, I'm going to say to you for this coming Halloween. Um, I dare you, I dare you to take that risk on yourself and do that very thing that you've um, been wanting to do for a while or you've been um, thinking about doing but you just haven't done it um, for some of those reasons that I've talked about um, because you know what, those excuses are not good enough for you, they're not good enough so take the chance, dare yourself to do it uh, and um, do the thing that you really want to do. Happy Halloween. Time to get scared. <laughs>